When it hits the grill, you can already anticipate that first bite. The expectation of umami's saucy goodness that makes teriyaki a Puget Sound staple. And it's not just about taste, there's a tactile experience too. The feel of opening that takeout box. Mom and pop shops that have been grilling for decades will tell you nothing quite compares to the foam clamshell. We are very concerned about the foam plates and cups and bowls. They break up and then they blow all over the place. Come June 1st, what we know as styrofoam will be outlawed statewide. Heather Trim, executive director of Zero Waste Washington, says the lightweight cellular plastic is hard to recycle. It just piles up in landfills. They break into small pieces and they get all over the types of material like the paper, the metal, the glass, and the other types of plastics that you're trying to sell as clean commodities to recycle into new things. This new law passed back in 2021 bans both sale and distribution of these containers. That means even if you've got an entire stack of them in the back room, once June 1st hits, you could get fined for giving them out. The reason that there's not a grace period is because there were so many years building up to this. The mother and son duo that runs I Love Teriyaki and Burian says the other options out there are lacking. Recycled compost is too weak. Hot liquid seeps right through. Not only that, but the rice sticks to it. Then there's hard plastic, but that often gets too hot to touch. Nothing insulates like the foam clamshell. Not only that, but this small business has other changes to contend with. They just switched over to thicker plastic bags as mandated by the state. Minimum wage in town is going up. And now this. They've got no choice but to pass those costs along to their customers. More and more states are passing these kind of laws and there are more and more products available. The prices come way down, but we can't deny that it just costs a little bit more. Reporting in Burien, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News. So actual price hikes will be hard to pinpoint until the ban actually takes effect, but pro-styrofoam lobbyists predict it'll double food service production costs while doing little to reduce waste.